planner babes ashley here today we are going to do a flip through of my fitness planner setup for the month of april so i've done some rearranging in here some franken planning and stuff i'm really excited about this setup so i want to share that with you guys when we first open it up here i have my vision board i've had this thing for a couple of years now i absolutely love it and every time i show it i get a lot of questions on how i make it and I do have a video coming up very soon for you guys. We're going to make one of these together. So I'll show you what I what this sheet, this uh, plastic cover is from, how I get the photos, size them, cut them out, and all that stuff. So on the front of this vision board, we have fitness stuff. And then on the back of it, this is where I have more family stuff. So like my marriage, my husband, my son, my family, going on adventures and stuff like that. And then this is um, the name page from the Wellness Planner, which I still have not put my name on yet. And then this is a companion, or a it's actually it's a vision board, but it's from the Wild Style Companion Pack. I've had this since last fall when the Wild Style Collection came out from the Happy Planner, and I never did end up using it. But y'all, I finally wrote my goals down. <laughs> Took me long enough, I know. But these are my goals for 2021 and I think over here I'm just gonna, it says focus, vision, and goal. I think I'm just gonna do my vision for 2021 over here. And then when we flip it over, this section here is from a companion pack. This was from the Wrong Wrong Companion Pack. And I just took some Tombow double-sided tape and I stuck these two together. And this is where I will put my before and after photos for the year. And I'll probably do a little bit of documenting of my journey and some milestones and stuff like that in this section. And then from there, when we flip it over, this is from the Colorful Leopard Guided Journal, which I love. One of my favorite guided journals that the Happy Cleaners made. Plus, it's leopard print. I mean, I did not realize how much I love leopard print until the Happy Planner come out with it. So um, we open this up. Right here is where I have my habit tracker. This is where I'm going to be tracking my workout, water, nutrition, and memory keeping. And then when we flip this over, this is where I have my goals for the month. So up here I have two goals for the month. These are the things that I need to do that's gonna help me move closer to my goals. So for example, one of my goals for April is to lose five pounds. Over here I have exercise daily, AKA stop making excuses, Ashley. Um, track my nutrition, I have some notes on that. And then down here it says eat less than 50 grams of carbs per day. Here I just put this cute little quote sticker I'm not for sure what I wanna do in this box down here, but over here, this is where I will do progress photos for the month. So I have like progress photos will go here for the entire year. And then here is where I will do progress photos for the month. Listen, if you are on a fitness journey and you're wanting to lose weight or whatever, please, 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 please take progress photos. I know it sucks. I know it's uncomfortable. I know we don't like, like doing it at all, but I promise you, you are gonna be thankful that you had these photos. Um, a couple of years ago, I lost 22 pounds and I am incredibly thankful that I have those before and after photos and the progress photos in between. Um, so while it's uncomfortable, I do encourage you to take those photos. You absolutely do not have to share them with anybody and you do not have to sit and look at them yourself if you don't want to, but you will um, be thankful that you have them. So progress photos for the month are gonna go here. We flip it over. This is where I will do my measurement tracker for the month. So anytime that I weigh in, I take my measurements and stuff, I'll write that stuff down here. I doubt I'm gonna do it eight times in a month, but I have plenty of room, right? And then from there, this section over here, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, just put inspirational, motivational quotes over here. You guys know how sometimes you see a quote and it kind of slaps you in the face and you're like, yes. Those are the quotes that are gonna go inside of here. The first one that I have is by David Goggins, which I absolutely love. If you don't know who he is yet, go check him out. Um, it says, success is based on your willingness to work your ass off no matter what obstacles are in your way. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I've been on an excuse train for a few months and by golly, I have pulled the cord and I'm getting off of it. So thank you, David Goggins. We flip this over. Um, this section here, I think what I'm gonna do is kind of document my journey for the month here. And I'll probably put like major milestones that I hit or, um, you know, like if I hit a roadblock or whatever and how I overcame that and stuff like that. So that's probably what I'll do there. This is a weight tracker that I made a few months ago, which unfortunately I don't get to fill this in right now because I've, like I said, I've been on an excuse train and I have not lost weight. A few of my excuses were valid, but the vast majority of them 
were not. Uh, so anyways, that's my weight tracker. I just took dot grid paper from a Happy Notes and created this little spread and I did some stickers and stuff on there. And when we flip it over, this is where a lot more Franken planning happens. So this section up here is Franken planned. I do have different sections from different planners and companion packs and stuff inside of here. This one is where it gets a little bit more trickier. So I do have March still in here because I accidentally put the week in the wrong section of my planner. So I'm going to show you April and what this would normally look like. So here's April. Uh, I do use the wellness planner monthly because I love it. This is the currently page. I honestly don't use these in any of my planner. I always say I'm going to, but I don't. Uh, so anyways, this is the monthly section. When we flip it over, I have my workouts planned out for the entire month. And if you're wondering how I do this, I am a Beachbody coach. I love Beachbody. That's actually how I lost the 22 pounds a couple of years ago. So I know it works. This is not an ad. This They're not like sponsoring me. I'm not trying to convince you to sign up. I'm just being honest. That's where I get my workouts from. Um, I love it because I don't have to try to figure it out. I actually used to be a fitness instructor. I've taught Zumba, line dancing, Pio, um, like strength training classes, Tabata, I've done HIIT stuff. And I know how frustrating it can be sometimes trying to come up with a workout plan. So I am incredibly thankful to not have to do that anymore. So um, I literally, every program that Beachbody has, they um, have a workout calendar and I just pull from that workout calendar and write it inside of my planner. So I've got my workouts for the month planned out here. I have my goals wrote down over here. And then when you flip over into the weekly section, this is where it gets a little tricky. Sometimes I will use the wellness planner pages. Sometimes, which I've been using a lot here late, recently is the uh, teacher layout. So I love this layout, super functional, but also plenty of room to write everything that I need. Sometimes I create my own spreads using dot grid paper. Actually, I think next week I'm gonna be using a lined vertical inside of my fitness planner. But I do keep the wellness planner pages inside of here. So I have the entire month inside of here. And that way if I wanna use these pages, I can. Let's say I decide to use a teacher layout like I did for this week. I will just take the pages out from in here that don't belong then and then I put the teacher planner inside of here or a line vertical or horizontal or whatever layout I decide to use that's how I do that and then when we go to the next section this is where I have note paper um, and some dot grid paper so let's say I read a book about nutrition or something this is where I would take notes or I watch a video that was very informative I take notes on those things and those stay in this section of my planner and then I also have a good little stack of dot grid paper here. So if I wanna create my own spread for my fitness planner for the week, this is where I get that paper from. The next section, this one says menus. This is where I meal plan each week. So I have a couple of different food lists here, which are very, very helpful. And then I love using this paper. It's from one of the Happy Planners block pads. I like it because over here, I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll do my meal plan here and then I make my grocery list over here. And then the back is blank. So I have plenty of room to write out anything else that I need. So I have a few sheets of those. I have some half sheet paper inside of here and just some other note paper. And then I also have a pocket folder back here with a little sticker sheet from the wellness planner. Actually, this come with this. This was a, an accessory pack. This is from the accessory pack, not a planner. Um, so anyways, that stays inside of the folder. The folder is also from the wellness. It's a, in the accessory pack. And that, my friends, is my fitness planner setup. The pin loop that I have came from Amazon. I love these pin loops. I think they come in a pack of 12. I mean, you get a ton of pin loops. And they're pretty cheap, too. But they're awesome little pin loops. So that's the pen loop that I have inside of here. And then the only other thing that's not from the Happy Planner is the little stickers that are on the divider tabs. You see where that says menus? So those also come from Amazon and I'll link them down below, but here's what they look like. And there's a ton of them in here. It's got 432 of them. They're just little sayings, little um, tab little stickers that you can put on side on your divider tabs little up I can't talk today so there's those things and other than that everything else inside of here comes from the happy planner and I will link as much of this as I can down below in the description box so you guys can check it out but that my friends is my fitness planner set up for the month of April I am loving it 
and I'm excited to have some planner piece within my fitness planner because I notice when I have planner piece, I'm more likely to get inside of my planner. When, when I don't have planner piece, I feel very dysfunctional and it's a little overwhelming. And I'm sure you understand exactly what I'm talking about there. All right, my friends, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Seriously, have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video.